ton of people were telling me, yo, Edgar, you gotta check out the new Attack on Titan movie trailer. Now, I don't know the details of this, so apparently there is a movie that's being developed, and even though I did do a, a video covering the news story, which was showing the real life actors, we didn't really get any real footage of it. We did get footage from the amusement park theme ride, but we didn't really get any footage from the movie. So this being a trailer, of the actual movie that's being worked on in Japan right now, I'm very interested to see what's going on. They do have like machine guns and stuff and apparently it's a post-apocalyptic world and whatnot. So I really don't know what to expect here, but it's probably going to look phenomenal, if, especially if it looks anything like that Subaru commercial where it had the Colossal come out the ground. That shit was insane. So. Um, I'm gonna watch this trailer right now on camera with you guys just so you can see my first initial thoughts and whatnot and potentially me lose my shit even though I mean that's well anyways we'll see what happens let's check this out right now okay, okay. wow wait a minute do they have a titan with boobs? a girl titan? oh no that's just a dude okay. yo this looks amazing Oh my god. What? Oh my god. This looks amazing. What? Dogs. Yo, that shit was hype, man. Yo, of course, obviously, since they're using real life actors, there is going to be a lot that does look stunning, but they managed to, even though the world is a little bit different. Now, I, I remember this. They said, instead of it being like a whole city that's flourishing and whatnot, flourishing rather, only seen as flourishing, but I mean, it's a, instead a post-apocalyptic world. So you saw prevalence of that in the trailer as, um, you, you saw it, because it seemed like there were more modern structures there. The wall looks like it's a little bit different too. It's like zigzag and crisscrossed. Yeah, the wall definitely looks different. Like, in, you know, as you guys know, oh, that's probably Mikasa there too with the scarf. But as you guys, you guys know this already, the wall in the anime is like just straight up. But this one seems a little bit more jagged. So I guess it... Damn. Yo. And that's one thing too. They didn't really show too many of the, um, the Kyojin in this um, trailer, but the little bit that you do see looks really crazy. You don't see much though. From, from, come on dudes, from what everybody was telling me about watching this thing, I thought that you would have seen a Titan themselves in full view, it would, you would have seen how crazy it looked. You did see the Colossal at the end though, but I thought this trailer showed more. Was that dude getting his dicks up? Yeah, he's getting... <laughs> Uh, I'm guessing that's um, Atanji, right? Because of the glasses? But yeah, yeah, I guess she's, she's getting, <laughs> she's getting that dick soap. But, um, it still does look good though. I'm not saying it don't look good. And that, of course, the freaking Colossal Man. You saw his eyes red? Like, that, that looks amazing. So I'm looking forward to it. I definitely can't wait until more footage of this is shown. But so far, it looks like we got a winner here. And usually animates a movie of the adaptations, you know. Do I really have to inform you about how sour those can go? But this looks great so far. And I'm really excited to see where it goes from here. Hopefully they stay on track and don't go off the cabal enough to where like the spinoff is just like really off from the manga and whatnot in the anime. But we'll see. Anyways guys, I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves and of course as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.